everyone welcome to hello chris so one of our uh, subscriber you know asked this question uh, hi team help required uh, from excel to input box as multiple choice let's say country field in excel sheet to be listed in input box as multiple choice how to press select okay so this question this question is about uh, so let's say you know we have a country name in our uh, excel uh, spreadsheet and we want that country name list into uh, input box as a multiple choice to select the uh, one of the option so that was you know his question so let's try this approach whether we can able to achieve this uh, through ui path or not and uh, go to ui path studio and so let's say you know here i have a uh, country uh, names okay so india united states japan germany and uh, these are my country names uh, this is available in the sheet 1 and uh, so the file name is uh, country names go to studio uh, this is about excel input okay so first what we have to do so i have a uh, no here uh, the workbook uh, which contains the country name so i need to read all this country name right so for that i have to use rearrange activity okay so use rearrange workbook activity it's easy to uh, connect with the workbook okay then click on this browser icon select your country name workbook then click open then again you have to mention the sheet name okay the sheet name was sheet 1 and then range should be all okay so i am going to read the entire excel sheet okay then for this i have to uh, create a variable control k dt country name click enter okay that's it so now just drag and drop the input dialog box okay so usually uh, what we have to provide you know if you choose multiple choice so we need to provide the input option like within double quotes uh, let's say even let's say uh, india okay then colon uh, japan okay japan so this is how we used to give uh, our input you now each country we need to separate with the colon right okay so we need to bring this format with all the available country names in our excel sheet right so for that so before that i let me complete this uh, dialog title so see who you can create country name and the input label will be select your country okay this is multiple choice okay that's it and here so whatever the option we select that is the uh, that will be stored in the variable right control k Uh, selected country. Okay, so this is done. So now our uh, aim is to bring this uh, format for the entire. I mean all the countries, right? So for that, what we have to use? So I I am going to use you know uh, for each uh, data table activity because uh, this is my approach to bring this uh, format. And uh, so let me call the data table the country name. So which we Uh, created here then then that the current row will be what the country name right so to check that use right line activity drag and drop right line activity and uh, add a current row of 0 0 .2string because since uh, the country names are available in the a column right so this is if it is here we need to provide country of uh, the current row of 1 uh, right okay let's check whether it is printing the country names you know in order okay just go here and do step into so before that to close your uh, excel and uh, do step into continue so it stated all the country name and stored into this dt country name so you can check it here in the dt country name uh, variable so uh, india united states japan and germany right so in the loop so from all this country it's getting uh, the each country name one by one right so now it's printed india then now it's printed united states now it's printed uh, japan and now it's printed germany now it's coming out right 
so before coming out so we have to convert all the country name uh, like this okay we, we we have to make it like this so for that so what my approach is okay what i am going to do and just drag and drop an assign activity okay and uh, create a variable country name c o u n t name and enter and then just copy this and paste it so now this uh, country name will be stored into this uh, variable so it's become a uh, single variable then you can store country name your your country name india japan like that okay now drag and drop one more as an activity to uh, make it uh, the format like this okay now i'm going to create one more variable let's say init uh, country name after creating this variable go to your variable panel just uh, make it uh, this scope uh, to uh, the entire uh, sequence okay now go to this value field here call your uh, uh, init uh, country name uh, variable then add a plus then call your country name variable then add plus then semicolon okay which means so here look at this the init country name will be null always okay the first e execution it will be null only but in the first execution here the the country name on it it's become india india colon so then the india colon will be stored into this uh, init country name variable then uh, if it is goes to next iteration the init country name will be india colon then the country name will be uh, united states right so let's check uh, i will put a right line activity to check the result just drag and drop right line activity then call init country okay let's execute this step into then the right line so it's printing india then step into uh, now you look at the init uh, country name it's become null and the country name is india so just just step into now look at uh, init country name india colon so now it's printing india colon okay now in the init country name it has india colon okay step into and now the country name okay the country name it has united states so now the init country name india and the country name united states so now we are joining both okay uh, india colon and the united states so then execute this now it's a become india colon united states like this like that you can execute till that you no know, country name is over so now you look at uh, so here no uh, it's showing india japan that is a hard code one so do not look at it but instead of that here look at india colon united states colon japan colon germany and again we have a one more colon so we need to remove this and then we need to pass that variable here am i correct so for that again go to activity panel just drag and drop assign activity okay assign activity here call the same init country name variable because uh, i don't want to create you know more variables we can utilize the same variable to um, transfer the values so here go here okay so go here and call the init country name okay init country name because the init, the init country name only it's holding all the uh, country name list then dot substring open bracket zero comma again init country name okay then dot length minus 1 okay now this uh, init country name dot substring open bracket zero comma init country name dot length okay length minus 1 which means we are going to remove the last uh, colon okay there is a one more colon added here so we need to remove this colon because we need to pass like india colon united states colon japan colon german right just go here 
and uh, this is the syntax you know again carefully watch it so i'm going to pass the init country name substring using the syntax substring zero and the init country name length i'm taking the entire length of the uh, init country name so which is uh, the entire name length in the sense india japan uh, united states the entire length then we are uh, doing minus one okay then it's it's going to remove the lost one characters okay then here I am going to remove this R code value. Then I will pass that init country name. Okay. Now everything is over. Okay. Let's execute this. Step into and step into. Now it's going into the loop. Let me put a breakpoint here and click continue. Now it's reached here. Now you see India, United States, Japan, Germany. There is a one more colon in the end. Then step into now it's removed entire thing you can check out this init country name variable here it's removed everything it's a become the perfect uh, output to this input dialog box uh, input okay here we pass the same uh, init country name here in the input option uh, separated with a colon then again execute it now you look at there is a multiple choice option you can see india united states japan germany which is available from the spreadsheet okay let me stop this and go to excel workbook okay let's say uh, go to here in the country name and here you know let me add uh, uk here and uh, the other country china so i added two country names here then close it and again go here and step into and click on continue it's reached here then step into now uh, you can look at this uh, unit country name like you know so india united states japan germany uk china and again step into now you look you check the option just you, you can see all the uh, options which is available in the excel that's it i hope uh,